This is Impulse, a creation of the Cal Soul Racing Team. It is a 100% solar powered race car. It has a top speed of about 78 miles an hour, although the team tells me that they won't go that fast again. It's usually driven right around 30 miles per hour, and even that is a little faster than I was willing to go. Okay, oh, There's my favorite helmet. part, helmet time. I'm part of the team. All right. Okay. Whoa. Okay, no problem. Ah, this is awesome. This is the part where <laughs> That's on. Okay, the sun is shining. I'm shoved in here like a sausage and strapped in, and then they're gonna close the lid, and I'm off. Okay, here we go. All right, oh yeah, oh, there, now we go. Now we're talking. Awesome. I feel like I'm going so fast right now. In the future, cars will obviously need to be more energy efficient. I'm probably going like 15 miles an hour. We're already seeing more efficient cars today, like electric vehicles, and maybe solar could make those electric vehicles even more efficient. It's totally thrilling. Well, let's get her out. All right. I'm ready to be freed. How was it? Good. Was it? It's pretty great, actually. Okay. It's kind of like go kart, half off. Mini Cooper S. No problem. All right. All right. Excellent. Great job. Yeah. I've All forgotten right. what it feels like to have full range of motion. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's that is actually that is a blast. It's really fun. Yeah. It handles like a dream. It, it does. We were racing it on a track, and it can take corners better than real cars. It's really surprisingly responsive. Yeah. Yeah. So where is all this research headed into actual streetcars? This technology you could apply directly to something like a Tesla Roadster. Mm -hmm. You could panel the top of the vehicle with solar panels and then that would give you an extra boost in range. So you would be able to go another three, four hundred miles on a charge. Later this summer, the Cal team will take this car on a three-day track race against other schools. The goal of the race? To see who lasts the longest. Then they'll follow it up with an 1,800 mile road trip. These races are an experiment in green tech. They're testing the limits of what a solar car can do. So tell me uh, what's going on with this car. What are, the, what are the specs here? So it starts with the solar array, which is off right now, so we can look at the car. And then the solar array comes into that box right there. Okay. And so this box is the power trackers. And so that takes the energy from the sun and converts it into electrical energy that we can use mm -hmm. at the right voltage and power. And that's just standard solar energy collection that everyone's pretty familiar with? Yeah, that's fairly familiar. From that, it goes into our battery box. So if we look in here, all of these white strips are our batteries. They give us a total power of 44 amp hours. And so that'll run us about three hours into the night with no electrical power from the sun. And what kind of batteries are there? Um, these are lithium the ion, ion. Yeah. Uh, cells. Okay. And so that goes directly into this box right down here. And this is the motor controller. Oh, okay. So our motor is actually a three phase, 1.6 horsepower motor. It's an electric motor that is actually in the wheel right back there. 1.6 horsepower. Yep. That doesn't sound very race car. It doesn't sound no very race car, but it's fine for us. We're, we're built for efficiency. Right. And so lower horsepower means that we can go with a lot less power. Not so bad. It's hotter than blazes in here. A Tesla Roadster without the range anxiety? Nice, actually, once I get to 10 or 12 miles an hour. Count me in. Driving around on a lawnmower. It's like a riding lawnmower, except powered by the sun. A riding lawnmower powered by the sun. This thing looks freaking cool.